Hey, Air Signs, it is Nicola. So this is for 9-19, September the 19th, 2018. What do we have for a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you guys like a personal read, you can hit me up on my email, instantwisdomtarot at gmail.com. All of my other information is in the description. What messages do we have? Guys, the pay per minute special is over, guys. It is over. Um, it was a great special. We'll do it again one day, but it is over for now. So let's see what we got for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. September 19, 2018. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so let's see what we got. Mm. So many things, so many things. Taking a leap of faith, huh? Mm. So what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? Two of Pentacles, trying to balance a new opportunity in love, make a decision, judgment here. Um, very much defensive about moving forward, but somebody may be making a decision to move forward. I got the Six of Swords, so someone's moving towards something more sane for them i'm getting taking a leap of faith this could be feeling this could feel foolish uh for some of you guys it could feel foolish but this is taking someone taking a leap of faith all right so let's see why this two of pentacles here I'm trying to find a positive resolution to something so you could be going through some type of uh judgment you're going through some type of judgment yeah power um you lost your grounding a little bit. Maybe you're losing your grounding because you're expecting the worst of a situation. Maybe you have some fears. So you're trying to balance something out. You're trying to find your grounding. You're trying to find your grounding and make a decision to move forward. Um, whatever this was in the past that you're moving away from is something you had to let go of because you're expecting the worst. There's a lot of fears surrounding this. So that's where you're doing this juggling act right now because you're afraid. All right, so let's see why we got this Ace of Cups. This thing getting on my nerves. Why do we have this Ace of Cups? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Mm. So you're worried. Either you're worried about your home, you're worried about leaving home, you're worried about going toward a new opportunity. There's a lot of stagnation. I got three nights in a row, okay? So there were some complications. Um, you're trying to reevaluate how to move forward, but it's causing stagnation. Two of Swords is causing you to not make a decision or whatever this offer of love in the past may have put you at a stagnation, made you worried about moving forward. Um, I do see you finding your balance, but the underlying energy was very much not making a decision, being stagnant um, in your choices. So let's see why this judgment card is here. Why is this judgment card here? Ooh, card. Making the decisions to take a look of faith. Hermit here. Emotional draw going within. Some of you guys are worried about moving forward, but... You found your strength within is what I'm getting. Or someone else might be worried about moving forward, but they might be going within as well, finding the strength to move forward. Some of you guys could be going with the Virgo, could be going with the Pisces, Cancer, uh, yeah, Scorpio. So let's see, why is this not a wands here? This could be your energy. Um, hmm. So either you're very defensive about the decision that you're making, um, you've been through a lot, you fought a lot, and you feel like it's time, like you feel like you've been through a lot, and you're just willing to, I think, fight for what it is, whatever you feel like is your passion. Why is this nine of wands here? Eight of cups, queen of pentacles. Yeah. All right. Queen and King of Pentacles. This could have been um, you walking away from a relationship, a match. Someone who could have been stable. You could have been in a stable situation with this person. Maybe it in a lot of... It may have been stable, but not of ones. That's a lot of, that's a lot of baggage. That's a lot of um, stresses. So you could be walking away from that Eight of Cups. Um, could be in conflict about walking away for that walking away from that needing to find your confidence needing to be more grounded in your own um stability 
So this judgment call may be moving you away from whatever. It's waking you up from whatever had you at an imbalance, either within yourself, within your desires, or financially in an imbalance. But something's changing. Someone is releasing, um, letting go. There's a lot of fear. You may feel imbalanced because you're afraid to stand in your power. It's what I'm getting for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys need to make the decision to move away from whatever is keeping you in balance. But you may still be holding on. Um, you may still be holding on. For a lot of you guys, you may still be holding on. There's a need to move forward. Six of Swords. Some of you guys may still be holding on. Because there is some resistance here. Um, and the resistance is because you're worried. You're in conflict. Yeah, you need to move forward. Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, move forward. Nurture yourself, Page of Pentacles here. Understand your own, yeah, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. For some of you guys, this is about being clear about what's being offered to you or being clear about what's being presented to you. You could be dealing with a situation where someone may be juggling you. It could be a new opportunity. Someone could be coming back and you just want to be clear before you move forward what is what is coming from this situation? What am I moving toward? What am I making the decision, the conscious decision to start? And someone is making a conscious decision to start something new. They could have done some research and just see a new way. So someone could see a new way. All right, so let's see what guidance we got. I do see a lot of uh, trying to balance. So this could be you. Let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have from the other signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. So we got a couple messages for you guys. <clears throat> Take a risk. Put your heart's true desire into action. Some of you guys may be dealing with past life situations. I kind of think there's an offer being made that you may not be all the way okay with. Or you may be making an offer that someone else is not all the way okay with. So you may be just trying to build yourself up to remove the fears and disappointment around whatever you've been through. And kind of move forward is what I'm getting. Because with this, with blossoming, it is like you're just getting started. Just have patience with yourself. Choose peace to the situation and trust your intuition. Um, it's like you know what to do, but you may be afraid to move forward. You're, it's safe. It's safe. So that's all I have. Peace, y'all.